Good morning everybody and welcome to my Friday catch up on how my intermittent fasting weight loss thing is going. So thanks for stopping by. If you haven't already seen the other videos, this is my fourth video and the end of my third week. So be sure to check out the playlist if you'd like to um, go back to the start. So just a very quick recap. I am trying to lose a little bit more weight before going into pregnancy again, which will be sometime this year. And I've decided to try intermittent fasting as a sort of simpler way to do that. Jed, my son, is just banging on the window here. So excuse the noise and we've also got the dishwasher going. So let's just power through. This is an unedited quick Friday video. So I'm pleased to report that this week I have had a weight loss. My weight is 69.9 um, kilos, uh, which is an 800 gram loss for this week. In the info below, I've got my stats of weight loss so far, as well as the pound conversion for those of you who uh, don't use kilos. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with that for this week. The thing that is so good about using fasting as a tool for me is how easy this is like i compared to before when i've had to plan out diets think about what i'm eating and really sorry i'm expecting a visitor and i'm sorry they're not here um yeah I had to sort of plan out what i'm eating think about what i'm eating and really try hard to stay on track with this it's literally just a matter of keeping on track with um with fasting and yeah it's not always easy sometimes you get really hungry in that fasting window but i've just found that keeping busy is the key to to getting through that so what i'm doing is monday wednesday friday fasting between 8 p.m. the previous night and 12 noon the next day that is it I haven't changed anything else about my diet um, I am trying to eat uh, you know, a, a bit more nutritiously but in general okay there has still been more Easter eggs than there should be this past week they're gone now thank goodness but yeah apart from that I really haven't changed anything so that's that's really good um, I also wanted to tell you that in the info below I've, I'm going to link two articles that are short and easy to read which explains how IF works for weight loss it explains the history of it and it also explains a bit more about how it works for other things in the body besides weight loss so one of those things is actually um, increased energy now I don't so I've actually found I said to my husband the other day I have just realized that lately my energy levels throughout the day have been so much higher than they have been for such a long time so I'm just going to talk about this quickly um, I sort of was beginning to accept that my norm was tiredness and exhaustion I would really just struggle through some days so, so so tired and just think oh maybe this is how I'm destined to be and I guess I didn't realize that I was wasn't feeling like that and what clicked for me is that on the days where I wasn't having a cup of tea which is my caffeinated beverage of choice I wasn't needing it and I wasn't feeling super tired when I wasn't having it now I'm don't this could be one of two things I'm thinking it could be the intermittent fasting but I actually don't think it is I've been taking vitamin b12 supplements um, I have been taking these sort of sporadically for a while but lately I've been taking them consistently every morning and I, one of the things that vitamin B12 can do is to, to help increase your energy. And so I just wanted to share that with you because if you're someone who really struggles with tiredness and energy depletion, you might want to try it. Just a little bit of um, 
info on what B12 is if you don't know. Um, there's a lot of talk, there's a lot of sort of um, tension in the world between people who are vegetarian and vegan versus people who are meat eaters about B12. And there's a lot of misinformation. A lot of people who are meat eaters say that um, vegetarians and vegans don't get their B12 because they don't eat animal products. But this is completely untrue because vitamin B12 is not made by animals. Um, it's not made by humans. Animals have B B12 in their system because they eat uh, like from the soil and from the plants in the soil. But vitamin, vitamin B12 isn't found, isn't part of the plants either. It's a microbe. Um, but the thing about B12 is that we're, we're all depleted of it these days, both meat eaters and vegetarians, vegans, everyone. Because our food supply is so much more sanitized these days than it was in the past. So um, that could be... Uh, it could be overworking of the soil, it could be pesticides in the soil, it could also be um, the water supply that is um, like chlorinated and treated and all that. So the B12 is depleted from the food that we're eating, both that the animals are eating and that we're eating. Uh, so that both the animals are depleted in B12, therefore you're not getting all your B12 even if you are meat eater 